is a walkthrough video of an LQ50 dosing skid. We've got two totes here under the concrete blankets. This is CW43, could be any emulsion. The neat chemical comes out of the bottom of the tote here. That's a two inch NPT fitting, it's got a ball valve. You can see we've got a union here and another ball valve, and that allows for a real clean swap out when you, when you swap it out. There's gonna be a foil at, at the end of this that you need to get, get rid of all that foil. We did a nice job here. That line comes into here. So this is your polymer suction line. This is a calibration column where we can fill this up with polymer only. Do not put water in here. As soon as you uh, mix the polymer with the water, it's going to want to swell. So don't do that, but you could put polymer in here and measure your drawdown, calibrate your flow rate. Uh, we get really high repeatability with this piston pump. So typically it's just a linear proportion to the percent speed versus the max capacity of the pump. So this pump has got two adjustable features. First is the stroke length. This one we have maxed out. To adjust the stroke, you just turn this uh, nut here and then use the second nut to lock it. This is something you'll want to check periodically. It can loosen up if you don't tighten it properly. The second way to adjust it is with the VFD here. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but we've got this at 25 hertz, and you can just adjust that with up and down with the arrow here. So the neat polymer comes in to the dilution water side. On the dilution water side, you're gonna want about anywhere between two and 10 gallons per minute. All we need is flooded suction hooked up here, and that goes through the pump. We throttle it back with either the globe valve or the ball valve that's here. The polymer gets introduced here. You want to see a nice, smooth, and slow pulse. And that's going out to the line down. That can go to a clarifier, that can go to a pond, or maybe a mechanical dewatering device. So here's that same line. On this site, they've got it set up with the recommended split dose header. And they also have got coils uh, for additional age time. That's a really good trick. That last one's just going into the pond. You can see it right there at the end. And that's cleaning up these ponds for these guys.